Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to give a big shout out to you guys. Uh, this month, the way I'm uploading the videos, I am actually, um, from the, uh, the beginning of the month, uh, based on the views and comments, uh, those are the videos I'm working on. So from here on out, the videos that get the most views or the most comments, uh, will be one of the first videos coming up uh, when I upload. So there you go. Thank you guys very much for sharing, liking, and commenting on my videos. I, cur I highly encourage you to continue doing so, uh, so your videos could go up sooner. So let's get into your reading. For those of you guys interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. And I want to wish you guys all a very, very happy Hallow's Eve. Happy Halloween to everyone. Uh, have fun. It's going to be a very fun night, but also be uh, safe out there. Okay, so let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of October 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces for the mid month of October 2017 regarding their love life? Regarding their love life. Okay, Pisces, I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while and I still don't I feel like, okay, one more shuffle. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more. All right, here we go. Let's get into your reading. So I will be pulling out four cards for you, Pisces, and then four cards for your partner or the person you're dealing with at the present time. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me pull out Spirit. Please give me current situation card. Current situation that represents Pisces love life. For the mid -month of October. Here we go. All right. All right, so your current situation is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords definitely speaks about feeling bounded, feeling tied, feeling stuck, like you can't move forward. Uh, this is obviously, uh, this is a current situation, but I feel that this is outside type of energy, so it could be uh, circumstances. What I mean by that is uh, it could represent that you guys are currently struggling money-wise or you guys are currently just um, either you or your partner have been Again, like I said, struggling money-wise, uh, you know, there is a feeling of anxiety. So I think that for a lot of you guys, uh, Pisces out there, you guys may be dealing with uh, having insomnia, not being able to sleep, not being able to rest. You're restless when you're in bed. You're probably moving a lot, turning, uh, you know, turning all through the night. Uh, again, it has a lot to do with anxiety, but this is not something... Um, within you this is energy that you're perceiving or picking up from other people or circumstances again like i said a lot of stress going on with you guys at the present time so let's get into your reading pisces so this is how you view your partner or the person you're dealing with you have the three of pentacles here the three of pentacles talks about um it represents putting effort uh working as a team uh, both wanting the same type of outcome or both wanting the same desires, which is definitely a good thing. But the three can also represent in a love reading, it can also represent a third party type of energy. And because these are your cards, it could be that for some of you guys, you guys dealt uh, or have been dealing with a third party type of energy in regards to your partner. So what I mean by that is the three of pentacles is right next to the nine of uh, sorry, the Eight of uh, Cups. So there's definitely a moving on or releasing or detaching yourself from a situation or a person that perhaps had you in a third party type of energy. So uh, for some of you guys, it could represent that you found out that your partner was uh, either cheating on you or being with someone else uh, and you decided to not want to invest any more time or not put any more effort into this relationship because I'm getting the three of pentacles in the reverse position. So in the reverse position is not wanting to put the effort anymore and you're walking away with the eight of cups here. Now, you do have, give me one second, you have here 
the page of wands which is a communication or a message coming through and it's a message in regards to love so you guys are going to be finding out by the end of the month that there is a new person that is interested genuinely interested in wanting to getting to know you better so it could be a water sign uh, because the page is a representation of the communication or message coming through it could be you finding out through friends uh, someone that knows uh, or knows you in a better term uh, versus a person that's interested in you. So it could be that they relate to them, the fact that they're interested in you and that message comes through to you. Um, but again, I, I feel that this, uh, this invitation or this message is definitely going to come through uh, with the person of a water sign. So it could be a water sign like yourself, another Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Uh, this is a person that is usually uh, very loving, very flirtatious, but um, sensing more of a shy type of energy. And perhaps that's the reason why uh, this message gets to you through a third party. So someone else is bringing you that news. Uh, they're not very openly telling you that they're interested in you. Okay. Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship or have been in a relationship and currently detach yourself from that type of uh, relationship, uh, the page of wands here is definitely talking about um, the person that you were dealing with is definitely coming through by the end of the month, probably the first week of November, trying to offer you love, trying to offer you, uh, basically asking for another opportunity. But I feel for some of you guys, uh, right around the time that they come and try to, I guess, get you or win you back, that's when this other water sign com comes in or steps in for you guys. Um you know, and, and it's a new fresh type of energy. So this is definitely not a person that you're dealing with at the present time, or it's not a person that you've been dealing with, um, in the past. So the water sign is definitely a new energy to me. I'm feeling it very fresh, very, you know, energized, something new. So again, like I said, for some of you Pisces, maybe you guys were dealing with, with this uh, page of wands, maybe you guys were dealing with a, a fire sign. So fire sign would be a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries. And this is a very immature type of energy. This is a person that you could be 30 or 40 and you still don't want to settle down. This is an energy that uh, is very juvenile, almost um, not really wanting or thinking long term. So again, you have to make a decision whether you want to put the effort or it's time for you to walk away from this relationship okay uh, again like i said the moment you start pulling away from this energy this uh fire sign uh, that's when the water sign comes in or steps in and introduces himself into your life now how you how your partner views the situation is the full card the full card is obviously a new beginning uh, this is not the person that you're dealing with as in regards to if you guys are currently with a fire sign, this is not the energy of the fire sign. This is the energy of this water sign. The reason I say that is because the lover's card is coming out. So the lover's card is being represented as a new beginning for you, a new relationship coming through. Whoops, <laughs> this totally flew. Um, a, a new relationship coming through with this full. So it's a new chapter in your life, a new relationship uh, starting to take off. And right when it takes off, again, you have the death card here. So the death card is you uh, not wanting to accept the changes or not wanting to move forward or release yourself from what no longer serves you. The death card, again, can also represent the moment you start dealing with this person from being single, which I feel for a lot of you Pisces, if you guys have currently detached yourself from a partner, and this has been recent, so uh, let's just give or take, uh, within two to three months that you guys have been single this water sign is going to step in by the beginning of november by the middle of november you guys are going to find yourselves in relationship so it's like you go from being in a relationship to being single to then the death card coming in and reversing uh, your singlehood going back into a relationship and i feel that this relationship is going to be connected on a deeper level now you do have the moon card here and the moon card is next to the death card so for some of you guys um for some of you guys things that have been hidden from you or that you have haven't wanted to see things for what they really are are going to represent are going to appear to you in a more clear light the death card definitely brings endings but it also brings new beginnings and with that new beginning you're able to see things for what they really are in a different light or getting clarity in regards to things that you weren't even 
you know, you didn't even know what was going on. So it could be that recently, that's when you guys, recently you guys found out that the person you were with or had been in a relationship for quite a while was having a third party type of energy. Okay. Now, for those of you guys that are in a serious monogamous relationship, um, the three of pentacles here is definitely talking about wanting, um, basically I still feel it in the reverse. So I feel for a lot of you Pisces that have been in a serious monogamous relationship, you've put enough effort, you've put enough work and you're at a point where you just want to walk away from this relationship because it's no longer serving you or because you feel stagnant. You feel like you just can't progress with this person. Now the page is here to tell you that you have to tap into your gifts. So what I mean by that is if you feel that where you're currently working at uh, doesn't give you enough time uh, to spend with your partner, it doesn't give you enough time to really have that bond, that emotional bond and emotional need uh, to grow with the person that you're with, you need to pretty much prioritize what is most important to you. If your career is more important to you, then by all means continue to pursue that. But I definitely do see that it will be detrimental to the relationship that you're in at the present time. Now, for those of you guys that um, it's your partner that's working very long hours and not you guys are not really spending enough time, it's almost like the energy is almost like you guys are kind of forgetting who you guys are. Um, but again, by the beginning of November, I definitely see a new beginning in your relationship. Um, you know, with the full card, there is a newness to it. There's a spontaneity to it, um, where it's either you or your partner that decides to be more spontaneous. Uh, whenever you guys are able to give each other time and effort, you guys are willing to do new things or try new things. And again, it definitely sparks, um, it definitely sparks the connection between you guys. Now with the death card here, the death card definitely symbolizes the ending of, an, of a cycle and the beginning of something new. But the moon card here, uh, this could be your energy Pisces and your energy could be that you're suppressing a lot of feelings or almost holding, um, you're feeling like you're not emotion, like your partner doesn't emotionally connect to you or there is no emotional depthness to your relationship and that's the reason why you've been feeling like you're kind of trying to understand or come to terms whether you want to release this person or whether you want to continue it doesn't matter if you're 15 years old if you're 20 years old or if you're 60 years old if you're in a relationship and you're not happy in that relationship or your partner's not happy in that relationship, one or the other is bound to step out of the relationship. So again, it, it doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, everyone deserves to be happy and you need to find your happiness if it's not with the person you're currently with and vice versa. It goes the same way. If your partner feels like you're just not, you cannot connect with them on a deeper level, which Pisces usually don't tend to have that problem. It's usually Pisceans that feel like other people cannot connect to them in a deeper level. Um, but either way, you know, it is a general reading. Either way, um, again, there has to be a renewal of energies in this relationship if you, if you guys want to progress. Now with the death card and the moon card here, these both are speaking to me about hidden things, things that are no longer serving you or things that for perhaps you're keeping hidden from your partner that are going to come to light in the beginning of November. So again, for a lot of you guys, I, unfortunately, I do see endings um, because the death card is right next to the lover's card. So it could be that when your relationship starts to get renewed, when you guys both decide to put effort into the relationship, things that have been hidden either from you or your partner are going to come to light that it's going to definitely de it's going to be detrimental to your relationship. Okay. So anyways, I want to thank you guys very much. Again, like I said, uh, Pisces were, was one of the videos that got the most views, um, the beginning of the month. So that's the reason why I wanted to, um, I wanted to upload uh, your videos as soon as possible. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I definitely encourage you to subscribe. And we'll see each other in the beginning of the month of November.